Today, I'm going to discuss with you on the antibody treatments for COVID-19. After successful treatment of President Trump with antibody cocktail, and there is great interest in antibody treatment for the COVID-19, and many people accept, expressed interest and want to know more about antibody for treatment for the virus. Today, I'm going to have a brief review of the antibody treatment for COVID-19. Before we go to the antibody treatment, let's have a look review on this uh, uh, convalescent plasma for COVID-19. And convalescent plasma therapy is a classic adaptive immune therapy, and this therapy has been applied to prevention and treatment of many infectious diseases for more than one over the past two decades convalescent plasma therapy was successfully used in the treatment of SARS, MERS and 2009 H1N1 pandemic with satisfactory efficacy and safety and as of today there are a lot of reports indicate that convalescent plasma is effective and safe for COVID-19 patient. And here we just look at the procedure for uh, convalescent plasma for COVID-19 treatment. Procedure. And from patient who recover from Quad 19 diseases. And so, because in the patient you have antibody, so you first step, you correct convalescent plasma and then just in trans transfusion this convalescent plasma to the patient. And the key reason here is that. In the blood of the patient, there is antibody, and basically transfer the, the antibody from patient for soft for recovered from this infection to the patient which had right now have disease disease. You can see the most important fact here is the antibody in plasma. And however, uh, in this technology, this treatment is very, very uh, limitations. And first limitation is that we need to identify the patient who is suffer from this or recovered from this diseases. And uh, and also another important thing is that. For the treatment of this uh, patient, uh, when we use convalescent plasma, we need a large number of, of blood. So one patient may uh, plasma may not enough for one patient, and that's why it's the huge limitation. Besides this, also they have a number of uh, advice uh, reactions. We know that because the component we get from patient is actually the plasma contains a lot of di different components which can cause from mild to very serious immune reactions and sometimes can cause death. And not important disadvantage is that and because sometimes this have risk of transfusion of associated infections such as HIV and hepatitis B virus and hepatitis C virus and also have a risk of reinfection with COVID-19 because there's no guarantee that the patient who's recover from this virus 
there's no virus in the, in the blood. And sometimes that antibody in the patient who re recovered from this uh, infection may, may cause enhanced disease because antibody depend on enhancement of disease. You can see that a lot of uh, uh, limitations for this convalescent plasma. The key point is that uh, in the plasma, this not they have antibody, but there's so many other uh, components. So with modern technology, now it's possible to identify the, from patient who suffer from this virus infection, and you identify the cells which can express the antibody, and then through the genetic engineer technology. And such antibody then can be generated by genetic engineer technology. And so in this case, case we can get pure antibody and also we can scale up and produce antibody in uh, industry scale. So you can basically, if you have resource, uh, you, we can generate as many antibodies as you like. And this antibody is specific for this quad 19. Here it is purified antibody which bind to the spike protein. So after bind to this virus, to block the virus, so the virus cannot, the human cells receptor. So they cannot bind to receptor, so cannot get into the cells. So the virus will be cleared up by uh, human immune system. And as for as of today, uh, the more than 17 different institutes which have the program to generate antibody for Quad-19. And two of them are leader. One is the regional is the, the this is cocktail REGN COVID two. Another one is uh, LILD LYCOV five five. And as of today, both antibody was submitted to FDA for emergency use authorization. So I should inform you that both these two reagent is in the phase three clinical trial, and and if you want to use this uh, reagent, is free, and uh, because they have contract with the government, so you just need to search to search in the Google on these two antibody, and you can you can get clinical trial information, and if you like, you can just join the clinical trial. And I think this right now, before we get vaccine, and antibody treatment can be very, very effective tools for us to control this uh, quad 19. This is the video for today. I wish you to have a healthy and happy life. See you in my next video.